Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It is the 29th of October. This month is going by fast. And uh, it is around uh, 7 or 1. I just, uh, alhamdulillah, I was fasting today, Thursday. I was fasting and just done with my iftar. And I wanted to, uh, sometimes I can, uh, can, um, wait when I get uh, especially when it comes to my uh, kids my babies the little ones all right uh, I just got a message here and I posted in Facebook uh, which is some people think that's evil <laughs> which is you can think of anything you want to think um, I don't know how uh, you define that evil and you don't define what what you're doing is not evil but anyway and uh, you know the government and everybody you know they just uh, anyway they out out there for a walk <laughs> anyway um, I just wanted to put the, the record straight because in this message here, let me get to it so I can read while I'm talking. It says, um, uh, Hi, Muhammad. Uh, so lately, Matthew had shown interest <coughs> in talking to you. After consideration, <laughs> I told him he can call you. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Uh, however, I believe I don't have any uh, current phone numbers. I blocked her phone because she was harassing me and trying to set me up to get arrested again. And, uh, uh, you know, the fraud or, not, or the illegal restraining order that is a crime against my children. And crime. It's not even violation no more. I'm not going to say no violation. It's, it is crimes crimes against children, abuse, and everything else. I just don't want to, you know, say things that are not proper for, for everybody to hear. But uh, everything is uh, there. And the, the sad thing is that the Department of Injustice have everything, FBI and all. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> uh, and I don't have no phone number for you I left a message and one please don't hurt him <laughs> all right yeah I go back after I read this uh, I told him if you don't contact him it is not because you don't love him you're just mad at me so I guess uh, the ball in your court take care well Let's talk about uh, mad, and let's uh, talk about hurting my son. Matthew was born August 7, 2008. When he was 10 months old, no, let's go back a little bit before that. When he was born, his mom moved out on or about uh, November of 2007 or so. She was still pregnant or December, I don't know, or maybe January, I don't know, February. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> no, no, I think it was the November or December. But anyway, 2007. So her pregnancy, she was living with her parents, and I used to go. We moved out of this apartment because, you know, couldn't you know stay there. Uh, it was too big for us, me and my daughters. Uh, so I moved to Jefferson, uh, <clears throat> and she was in uh, Arbor Lane, Cherry Avenue. Uh, you know, history. This is this is our history. My history. My family. 
Now, <clears throat> I was there until I was there for her during her pregnancy, was catering her, cooking and everything, and I still go to my apartment with my daughters. Sometimes, you know, it was a walking distance and, you know, just five minutes and I used to <coughs> lock my daughters, you know, sleeping and go and check on Matthew and make sure that she's okay and the baby, you know, but she doesn't need anything, cook, clean, everything. Right? Police was called in many occasions because she has to do other things with other husbands and boyfriends and stuff. And uh, she wants to, uh, you know, to move me whenever she can, uh, can. But I wanted to to see. I, I wasn't interested in being with her. I just my baby. She's pregnant. <clears throat> so th that was very limited time. The time we lived together uh, before Matthew was born it was like less than six months. All right, and uh, moved. I was working. Didn't spend time with no one. Okay, and all, all the crimes that were taking place against children, hate crimes, by everyone, everyone, there is no exception, all right, minors and adults and elderly, <laughs> hate crimes, school districts, doctors, uh, apartment complex management, everyone, just to have hate, family members. <laughs> Very, very close family members, immediate family members. Hate and envies and allow themselves to commit crimes. But anyway, let's, let's just pass that because I'm, I'm, I'm above all of this. Now, <clears throat> that's a time that I have encountered before Matthew was born. After Matthew was born, the same thing, she was in another apartment, and then, you know, she, she wants to do some with Mike or the other guy or the, the other guy or whoever. I said, I don't care, you know, you, you can do this, but don't, please, don't use my, don't, don't prevent me from being a father. You are free to do whatever you want to do. And everybody, this is all, this is who I am. I don't go after no one. I take care of my part my end and the, the others that you have the freedom to do whatever but don't bring don't drag the children with you and don't don't victimize them because of who you wanted to be with or what have you or or, or you wanted to embezzle the money or you wanted a new car or whatever or shopping for christmas or you know all of this stuff you know keep the children out of this <clears throat> now june 20th i was we, we know the story, right? I was on and off five times, five times, and we were all set up, all set up by the police department, Lucentia Police Department, and uh, this these people, all right? All of them, all right? They will set me up, we go see my son, Laura and me, and go help, go everything that I'm i I'm trying to be I'm trying to be a father, I'm trying to be a, a friend or a boyfriend or a, I always wanted to be the best of what I can to whoever I am around. And this is well known about me. I'm not saying that ask anyone. Alright? Now, <clears throat> so there is no time there to, for me to, that I spend with my son to be, you know, oh, well, don't hurt him. I hurt him, my son. I am the one pull, pull, uh, bipolar, and I am the one I did all of this. And this is the arrogancy that I'm talking about. People allowing themselves to commit every crime, every crime, selling drugs and, you know, kidnapping and, and uh, you know, uh, harboring uh, uh, Ex-con cooking methamphetamine in the apartment and catching on fire. All of this and working as a, a from, uh, you know, a, a, a pharmacist technician. All of this. All right. Now, she's telling me she's still playing the games and telling me don't hurt to my son. 
don't hurt my son that I haven't seen him. So the very limited time that I spent from there, and then uh, May, I got out of jail. My daughter was born two months after, before I got out in March, and I got out in May sometimes. <clears throat> and then I moved, I was homeless again, and then I moved to, and went off from there. All right, and then when they start to come, come to visit, few times when I was in, in Rancho Santa Margarita, few times that they come and visit, I always go and wait and you know go back and sleep in the streets and everything because I, I you know, I'm, I'm homeless. And you're gonna see, them, oh, well, we'll meet you. Oh, we'll have this and that, that. Very few times that she shows up, and when I have an appointment. She will always play the games and call the Riverside police and call the It's a unbelievable, unbelievable. And she's saying, don't hurt him. Allah. <clears throat> anyway, now, um, so it is very limited time, and every time I was there, I performed to my best ability. I took care of everyone and everything. Okay. 
I cook, I clean up, I made big dinners for everyone, took care of the animals, dogs and cats and hamsters and everything, clean, go to work. Take the kids out to ride the bike, take them in the, my truck, spend most of my time with my children, all of them, and, and step children. I tried to reach out to everyone. I did everything, even the ex, I was trying to be nice, unless they come and they, they, you know, step over my boundaries and, and think that they are, they, you know, they allow to. And, and, and try to intimidate and insult me. A lot of disrespect. It's for her more than more than me. These these things. You can't do nothing. To I, I'm I'm a, I'm a man. Anyway. So this is what has been going on. And wallahi, I will go away and stop. I learned throughout my life, people will not stop their abuse and crimes against others unless they know that they will, somebody will hurt them. That's why I took a stand all my life for my children, for, for myself, for what's right, for others, okay? Because if you are kind and if you are, well, you got to be kind, but if you if you complacent and you're not, you don't have a backbone and you're timid, you would be used, abused, and beat up and everything else. There is no, there is no place here for, for rabbits. Right? You gotta be a lion. You gotta be standing up and letting people know that you mean business, especially when it comes to little ones, because sickles out there. Now, that's what I've been doing. If they let me have a normal contact with my little ones, I will forget about everything that took place. I won't forget about it. I'll pursue it still because it's it's legal stuff now, All right? It is it it is crimes, but I will not, you know. I will let everybody live, and I will live, and I'm I'm been living anyway. But I wanted to have the normal relationship and contact with my little ones. They earn it, they deserve it, that's the rights, and anyone, anyone that will, will interfere with that, we will be dealt swiftly with, it, swiftly. And I mean it. Don't mess with my children. Don't mess with any children that matters. And think that you have the right to commit crimes against them. Don't. They ain't got a job. All right? So please, all these games, it's been there. I wasn't, I didn't have the, the opportunity and the liberty to stand and talk to everyone like I am doing that. Thanks for, alhamdulillah first, alhamdulillah, wallahi. But thanks for the internet and the, the social media and YouTube and so on. All right. I will always continue. And again, I want to make this clear. This activism... And what I am doing is for everyone that cannot do what I am doing. All right? The Institute of Southland American Muslims, Inc. is a non-profit organization, 501c3. All right? That we pay in our taxes. We are legal with the state, Secretary of State, and the federal government. So, back off, punks. It's not gonna, it's not gonna jive no more. All of this is not going to be allowed. I, will, I, I won't change much, but at least I will make a dent and I will get the attention of the authority. All right? Because this is this has been done so far and a lot of people got victimized, especially children. 
So, uh, these games, are, you know, everybody's been exposed, right? I just, every time, like I said, every time I hear or I see, my blood boils. Because Matthew and Jasmine, they have done nothing to no one to be treated that way and to be crimes to be committed against them for the sole purpose of having the money, having the child support or the social service or security or the food stamps or whatever or write off or these fat punks. All right? This is it. Aunts and the brother in law and grandparents, everybody is fighting. Mrs. Maneskis and <laughs> Everybody wants to take care of uh, my unbelievable. And oh well, this is only this is only people that you know. I wonder why. <laughs> wonder why. How long I put it in there? All right. So make this clear, and I'm gonna continue to exercise my rights and theirs, and expose those that commit crimes against children. All of them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You'll see me again.